गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन अवर क्लास वी विल कस्टमाइज द इंटरफेस व्हाट इज इंटरफेस ऑल द आइकन्स मेन्यू ग्राफिक्स व्हिच वी सी ऑन द स्क्रीन थ्रू व्हिच वी इंटरेक्ट विद द एप्लीकेशन इज नोन एज इंटरफेस सो here today we will we will first discuss about quick access toolbar uh one thing which i want to tell you that uh, we cannot change the entire interface of the application or software however we can change some of the options commands in the interface so today first of all we will discuss about quick access toolbar can you tell me where is the location of the quick access toolbar it is on the top left corner above the ribbon so this is our quick access toolbar this area so what is the purpose of this quick access toolbar uh, it contains the commands which are frequently used so all those commands which we uh, use frequently again and again that commands can be grouped up together in this quick access toolbar okay so now we will see how we can customize it so here you can see save button undo redo these are three commands here okay so if we want to add more commands in this area so here we have the customize button customize quick access toolbar customize means to change it according to our need customization means change something according to our requirement or need so here we have customize quick access toolbar when we click here a drop down menu of commands display here those option which have tick mark in front of them these commands are already here in this quick access toolbar suppose we want to add uh, spelling here so we just tick here now you can see this is our spelling okay so in this way we can add any command in this quick access toolbar if we don't have uh, command here in the drop down list which we want to include in our quick access toolbar then um, we will click here more commands okay click here on the more commands here excel option menu will open this window excel options so here under the quick access toolbar we have the popular commands we can add any command in our quick bar list for example i am going to add here um, open this one just uh, click on the command that you want to include in your quick access toolbar and click on the add button here when you select when you click on the add button this item will be shown in this window on the right hand side okay now we will add one more uh sum okay add after the adding the commands which you want in your qat click on the okay button now you can see these are the newly added commands which we have added recently so in this way we can customize our quick access toolbar okay in the same way we can delete the commands suppose if we want to delete this redo then here we have the 
remove button redo now you can see we have removed the redo command from this quick access toolbar okay third is the uh, location of the quick access toolbar location so when we click here here we have show below the ribbon now the location of the toolbar is above the ribbon this is our ribbon area including tabs and commands okay so it is above the ribbon now we will select show below the ribbon now you can see its location is now below the ribbon so in this way we can uh, customize our quick access toolbar next option is minimize the ribbon ribbon is a contains the tabs and every tab has its own commands which are divided or grouped into groups okay every tab has has its own commands and commands are related commands are packed up in groups so sometime if the matter on the page or or on the sheet is large enough then if we feel that space is less then we can minimize our ribbon to make more space for our data so how can be uh, how can be minimize the ribbon so here we have the button minimize minimize the ribbon control plus f1 f1 uh, key is for the help and control f1 is for minimize the ribbon so when we click here now you can see all the options are hidden to make more space for data inside the sheet so we can minimize our ribbon okay now we will see how we can add currency symbols in our table or inside any cell suppose we have this record sale record and here we will we are going to calculate the amount equal to quantity into rate per unit okay so here is our total amount what we are we are uh, still uh, what we are unaware which currency we are using here sometime we have the need to show the currency symbols for example uh, dollar pound or our indian currency inr indian national rupees so every currency has its own symbol suppose if we want to uh, include the currency symbols with this amount because the excel is a uh, commonly used for financial calculation so we have the need to uh, show the currency symbol also so here from the home tab first of all select the cells in which we want to show the currency symbol then here we have in the number group we have accounting number format from this arrow we will select the currency symbol us dollar uk pound euro okay here we can add any currency symbol to show the monetary value okay if we want to show the rupee symbol if the required symbol is not in this list then we have more accounting formats okay and under the accounting 
here we have the symbols just scroll it down here we have english india rupee this is rupee symbol so in this way we can add currency symbols we can also add the currency symbols by selecting the entire column right click here from here select format cells this one format cells okay and here select currency it can also be inserted from the currency or accounting currency or accounting okay here i am selecting currency we can add uh, this one will be here is the decimal places for example uh, 120 rupees and 0 paisa okay so decimal places uh, here are two now it is 120.00 means two decimal places if we don't want to see the decimal places just reduce it zero okay okay so here you can see the amount without decimal places so in this way we can customize the ribbon customize the quick access toolbar and add monetary symbols inside the cell sometimes there are commands which are not in the ribbon we can add these command also so how can we do that we will right click here in 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 the ribbon area and here we have the option customize the ribbon customize the ribbon we are also getting the option here customize quick access toolbar but now we are going to customize the ribbon click here so here we have the commands on the right side we can see our tabs home insert page layout formula data review okay these are our tabs and here are, are the commands which we can uh, insert in our ribbon okay first of all we will select the tab in which we want to insert our this command which we will select from here and here are the groups inside the home tab just expand it home tab these are the groups inside the home tab okay now we, I, I, I am going to expand cells group so in cells group we have three options okay suppose I am selecting here font add because these font option is already inside the ribbon commands can only be added to custom groups okay so in this way we can add commands inside the tabs under a suitable group okay students uh, read the session number 8 and 9 and solve the assignment if you face any problem or uh, there is some doubt or query you can ask me okay thank you very much have a nice day